Hello, I am Miriam, co-founder and COO of Keto Chow. I'm Chris, also a co-founder, president, and the technical <laughs> guy behind Keto Chow who had this live stream In pointed the at the wrong place. location. Whoopsie. So I fixed that. Now it's pointed at the right location. So anyway, if you're brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto super easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon for updates on all our Keto Chow happenings. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for joining us on our journey. Indeed. So I'm really quickly fixing stuff. Oh, you need to pull out this thing. Oh, I yeah. need to pull out this so, thing. So welcome, everybody. We, sorry I don't see any uh, comments from before. Oh, yeah, because I, I was in the wrong the one. Thing. Oops, so, okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just going to delete that other one. Delete it. Anyway. Del Taco. Delete forever. I understand that deleting this is permanent and could not be undone. Okay, good. Okay, so I have a question. Okay. Have you had a chance to try the strawberry cream or vanilla cream yet? Ooh. What do you think? So what do you, all of you in TV land, Yes. if you've gotten it yet, what do you think of the what strawberry cream and vanilla cream? Do you, do you like cream? it? Because we want to know. <laughs> now you're going to sing the song? I want to know. See, here you what go. What thinking? Anyway, Jennifer Lucas is Looks here. Really so cute is earlier, but I kind of look Mike weird. Says, hello again. Yeah. Guess what happens when you point it at the wrong place? Goes to the wrong place. <laughs> Joanne says, have a great evening, everyone. Rick one is here. So is Thanks, Gail. Joanne. Hi, Rickon. Meg's Hi, house, Hi, little house in the country is Hi, here. Hi, so Hi, is Lynn. Lynn and Loretta. Hi, Loretta. Mike says, I love tech technical difficulties. They're fun when they're not happening Right? To it's me. much funnier when it's someone else. Who boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chris used to get a lot more stressed. Now he's just like, well, yeah. we'll just keep working on it till it gets done. And if it doesn't get done, we just quit. That's right. Uh, it's Shari fine. says, I think this is the first time I've caught you live this year. Oh, hey, Shari. Well, welcome. Laura says, hi there. See you in Las Vegas. Yes. In a couple of days. I, we need to get stuff ready. And I need to pack up computer gear or n this video gear here um, so we can take it. So. I put something in my suitcase. Okay. Some Irish cream. <laughs> Irish cream? That This is caramel macchiato. That's because the one that was right here was uh, in my suitcase now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gail has tried both. And they're awesome. <gasps> Yay! Joanne likes both. Vigil Kios is the vanilla, vanilla and strawberry creams are delicious. Yay! Thank Laura you. Laura says I love both the, of the strawberry and vanilla cream. Gina is here. Natalie likes them both. I love making strawberry whipped cream. Oh, that's cream. a good idea. And then put like in like one of the cinnamon egg life wraps with a couple of strawberries. Mm. Here, this that's microphone is hitting my neck weird and annoying me. It's poking you in the neck. Shari says, I got a Keto Chow Core Creamy for lunch today. Ooh. I actually had banana Keto Chow for... Breakfast? No, for lunch and okay. banana Keto Chow Creamy. Or banana Keto Chow Creamy for brick, for lunch and for dinner. Nice. I um, had pecan sticky bun. For lunch, yeah. For lunch. Uh, Bubble Stuff got a big bag of strawberry cream and blueberry. Never tried vanilla cream. Oh, you're going to have to try it and tell me what you think. And speaking of vanilla cream, one of the things I wanted to point out is okay. that we got the the original test batch of flavoring for mm -hmm. the vanilla cream March of 2021. What? Three so years ago. ago. Original test batch. That's not what's in the no. vanilla cream. That's just the testing stuff. Yeah, but the same flavor. Yeah. I actually looked up by the flavor code. And I was wow. Like, I was like, how long ago? Because we were, the discussion was how long did it take to develop this flavor? And I'm like, mm. oh, that one took a lot longer that than some That was a special others. one. Makes sense. I need to mix them up and see. I haven't had a chance yet. Aw. Maureen is here. Guys, um, Mike says you guys get to that conference early. I read the schedule. Yeah. Um, yep. We have to get we to there really pretty do. early in the mornings. Mm -hmm. And we need to be there Thursday at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. for the, the setup. Set up. Um, Lori Allred is here. Denise says, I got the big bag of strawberry cream and vanilla cream. Had one each this week. And there's two more in the fridge for future lunches. They are so tasty. Yay! And how are you, Danita? I haven't seen you in a while. I was posting darkness says, why did the strawberry cream and vanilla cream say seasonal? Um, it should say it's permanent. That might be an oversight oh, on our right. part. Oh, right. Because we need to fix that. 
Yeah. I'll write that down. But no they pen. are permanent. Oh. I have no writing utensil. No, you don't. I'll email myself. Dear self. Dear Sir Stroke Madam, a fire has been found. So let's see. Okay, yeah, so here we are. It's in the seasonal flavor section. Oh, yeah, but it's not because seasonal. Because it's brand new. It's just at the top so you'll see it. Yeah. Because otherwise it would have a tag. Like that yeah. one that's green. I can't remember if it gets repeated down below. Repeated. Nope, it doesn't. Oh, wait. No, there's, no, that's core. There's, no, it does. Right there. Strawberry cream keto chow, vanilla cream keto chow. So, yes. So, it does. The core ones mm. get to come over here to keto chow core. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Won't well, it be nice when we've got all the new packaging for every product? It will. Be it's so going to take a long time. Lori says, did we talk about Miriam's cute nails? If not, they're awesome. Lynn says, I just mixed up two chocolate shakes. Visual Kia had three old strawberries and three strawberry cream in my fridge right now. Nice. Um, Evelyn says, I just made fudge from Irish cream getting in. Oh, to the that's such a great idea. Spirit. Speaking of mm -hmm. the holiday spirit, for those of you who maybe aren't getting emails yeah, from Yeah, if you're us. not getting emails, sign up for our email list because we always send out those announcements first. Yeah, so we sent out an, an announcement a couple days ago, and I just put the the link to the terms and conditions into the, um, whatchamacallit, into the... Comments. Comments down below. <laughs> this is about the giveaway that we're doing. Yep. We have to have a terms and conditions, which we're going to say it's boring. Boring. Because... In the United States, if you give away something mm -hmm. and people have to buy something, yep. that's considered an illegal lottery. Yes. Only the government can do lotteries. Right. The government will not share <laughs> that with anyone else. Yep. So you have to per specifically stipulate no purchase necessary to enter or win. Mm -hmm. So to enter it... Um, it's open to people legally, physically in the 50 states. Um, there are two ways to enter. You can either mail in a letter or card, or you can make a purchase. And um, you will only be able to uh, win once. Yeah, okay? sorry. Um, so if you if you make five or six orders, you're... you're you're not going to win five. And we're, we're giving five winners either a $50 Keto Chow gift card mm -hmm. or a refund for the full amount of their qualifying purchase up to $1,000. That's a lot. It is. So, and the, uh, the full amount of the qualifying purchase, that only applies to people who place an order to enter. But anybody, and even if you place an order for like $3 or something like yeah. that or a single packet, you could still win $50. Gift card. Child gift card. Yep. So anyway, the full terms and conditions are linked in the description. Yep. And in the uh, the thing that's the discussion thing. Also, it's in an email. Yes, and we sent it out in an email mm -hmm. as well. As well. Okay. <clears throat> Jen says, question, can I live on Keto Chow exclusively? Would I get in all my nutritional needs? I asked because I have gastroparesis. And had gastric bypass surgery and drinking is so much easier for me. Mm. Okay. That's a good question. That is a very good question. Number one, we don't necessarily recommend that people do that. Right. But Keto Chow is designed for that use case. Um, I lived on Keto Chow exclusively for 100 days. Um, we've known people who have done it for... A year or longer mm -hmm. and it's usually because they have a medical condition that requires that sort of thing mm -hmm. it's not the sort of thing that we recommend to normal healthy individuals but the one thing you might be missing if you do all of your meals with keto chow mm -hmm. is protein yep um, and for that we generally recommend that you eat some salmon because it's delicious yeah or you could eat some red meat or something like that. But, I'm obsessed with salmon right um, now. A lot of people need, well, they need the omega-3s and they need more protein mm -hmm. if you're using keto chow as your sole source of nutrition. And again, we don't recommend that you do that, but it can be used for that. Yep. And it worked out just fine. 
Uh, Jennifer says I had pumpkin sausage soup about a year ago. My son wouldn't try it. Says he didn't like pumpkin. I might try slipping in an Easter and just call it sausage soup. Right. There you go. Supposed in Darkness had Irish I cream mean, blender ice cream now cold. Trying to decide nice. if I want to take advantage of the discount. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Did you say 30% discount on oh, Irish cream? And it's, it's a 30%. It's 30% discount on Irish yeah. cream. It starts. Hello. So the sale runs from March 14th at noon Eastern, which is 10 a.m. Mountain. And it runs until the 17th. Or is it the 18th? Oh, man. It's the 18th. The 18th at, at midnight, midnight Eastern, Eastern, which is the 18th, 10 p.m. Utah time. Mountain time. So, there you go. There you go. Mike says, I tried to go to Buffalo Wild Wings today and found the nearest one was closed due to a plumbing leak. Oh, I'm so Aww. sorry. Went to Red Lobster instead. Well, shrimp's good. Barbara says, I enjoyed the spicy taco made the soup with chopped burger patty. Yum. There you go. Danita is doing just fine. I'm so Thank happy. You. He says, I forgot how much I love caramel macchiato. Delicious mm -hmm, and so satisfying. Mm -hmm. Thank you, March Surprise Box. Woo, woo, we actually had woo, uh, someone on the KHL Facebook support group who wanted to a caramel mocha flavor. And someone was like, What about that one? You know, we got it's this. Pretty close. <laughs> uh, Joanne says, Subscribe salty. There you go. Matt says, Do you have plans on having yes. more stevia options? I'm trying to avoid sucralose for keto. Right so now, right we've now, got what we've got. We have the core, mm -hmm. um, which are available either with stevia as a sweetener or with no sweetener. Now, they aren't selling super well. So for right now, we're not going to be expanding that line mm -hmm. anytime soon. Um, but yeah, those are available. Um, and also, they're dairy-free, which is pretty cool too. Yeah. Um, Sandra says, I honestly thought that many of the people, especially those who are YouTube friends were exaggerating about your electrolytes until I tried them. I've used LMNT electrolytes, but I prefer the keto oh, shot ones. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. We won. <laughs> we are not in a war, though, just no. so you know. This is I've been either lurking on the live streams or watching the replays, so I'm keeping up to date with you all. Aw. Nice. Well, thanks for saying hi, because I missed Joanne, you. subscribe to Salty today. Yay! Yeah. Traces for the holiday, I got a corned beef brisket this uh, week. Oh, we Looking have forward brisket. To eating it soon. We have some corned beef in the freezer yeah. that we should really go shopping in our freezer yeah. and smoke that thing. We should. Smoke that thing. Um, Barbara says I got a fake keto chow email and forwarded it to you to see. Oh, interesting. Oh, thank okay. you. Um, interestingly enough, mm -hmm. I've noticed lately that we have, I've been getting some emails and they're legit keto chow emails. Uh-huh. And Google has been tagging it as this looks suspicious. Oh. And what happened is a, enough people said, oh, this is spam. They just marked it in spam in Gmail that now Google thinks emails from Keto Chow mm. are spammy. That's a bummer. So if you get one from Keto Chow and it's it's actually from us, please mark it as not, not spam. spam. Um, <laughs> in fact, you might want to look through your spam folder if you are out mm -hmm. there in TV land. And just put it in your promotions folder if you don't want to see it. Yeah, well, just if you could go through and if you find any Keto Chow... Um, emails, please mark them as not spam. We would really appreciate yeah, that'd it. that'd be awesome. Uh, JJ says, have y'all ever refunded a $1,000 order? No, but we had to put the limits somewhere. Uh -huh. um, I think the largest one, we did a similar thing last year. I think yeah. the largest one was, I think it was $500. Yeah, I think so. So. That's pretty, pretty close. Yeah, Bonnie says, I like caramel macchiato, even though I don't drink coffee, so I might like the Irish cream in my tea. What does it taste like? Um, a lot of people say it tastes like Bailey's Irish cream. Mm -hmm. It's um, definitely more mild than yeah. um, other flavors, uh, other coffee flavors, I guess. Bubble Seth says, I so need a big bag of Irish coffee. There you go. Lisa wants to make a, wishes she could have a $1,000 mm -hmm. order. I feel Me that. too. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Oh, and by the way, we will be r announcing the winners of the yes. giveaway on next Tuesday's live stream. So yes, so a week, a from, week today. from today. So yeah. make sure you tune in. Danina says, if you want to add protein, I add a Quip Prime Protein on occasion yes. to my keto chow. Oh, that's yes. And that's to referring it. to um, the gastric bypass question. So you can add more protein to your shakes. Okay. And Jen says, thank you. I, I drink a protein shake for breakfast every day. 30 grams of protein in mm -hmm. each. 
I'm having a lot of trouble getting in enough fat due to dumping. Oh syndrome. yeah, that's yeah. hard. Okay, Jennifer has a good question. It's actually something that I I can't remember if I put it on the list or not. Uh -huh. Does Irish cream have coffee flavor? Oh. It has a very, very tiny amount of coffee. We actually originally thought that the Irish cream right. and the caramel, and the caramel macchiato, macchiato had no coffee in it. And it turns out that they each have, I think one has nine milligrams of caffeine and one has 11. But are you saying caffeine or coffee flavor? They have caffeine and along with that was actual coffee extract. Oh, okay. So and both of them do contain coffee. It's a it's a very just, small amount. It's so small. But if you're the type of person that is avoiding coffee mm -hmm. entirely, mm -hmm. you would want to skip the caramel macchiato and skip the Irish cream. Um, because they do have, it's a very, very tiny amount. Um, anyway, Mike says, I want to get in the Irish cream sale. I like sales. Uh, Bubble Stuff says that the little party pack at Costco is my yes. snack, the salmon. Although the honey mustard with uh, with dill is my weakness. Yeah. So are you talking about oh, with the it, ones yeah. at Sam's Club that's like this big, that's like they five might be in a at pack? Costco too. Yeah. Oh, I freaking yeah, we, love those. Yeah, we just throw away the honey mustard. Yes, the, I do throw sauce. that away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I actually have been taking one of those to work, and then I'll have my Ninja Creamy, and then I'll have, have that too. You do not put the salmon in the Ninja Creamy. I just eat them separately. <laughs> so, speaking of which, Dennis says, the Keto Chow Chocolate Core doesn't taste anything like salmon, but has some of the same benefits. <laughs> Lisa is here. Lisa, Hi from what? Florida. We are going to be in Florida in... Next week. Like a week and a half. We're going to Orlando. Yeah. Nancy says, good evening, everyone. Kathy says, I think chocolate Nancy. can be replaced by chocolate cream. Yeah. I don't know. The chocolate? Now, we introduced the cho the, yeah. the vanilla cream and the strawberry cream. Ugh. It was always intended to be a replacement for the original vanilla and the original strawberry. Mm -hmm. Just because those ones had kind of, they had really mild flavor. Yeah, and we um, wanted it to be a little bit stronger flavor yeah, and it's really stronger. it's not so much a stronger flavor more like a creamy flavor to yeah. it but it's more distinctive it's just different so we like it and yeah thanks for the feedback by the way maha says um now that makes more sense about the email with google yeah. and now i'll mark them safe yeah Thank please you. do <laughs> exposing the arctic says it would be a birthday present to myself Me. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so Emperor's happy. New Groove, such a good. Yeah. Such a good. We should put show. that on my tablet to watch on the airplane. Oh, we're not you going can. on an airplane. Not this time. We're driving. You could still watch a video. Oh. Uh, knowing you, you're probably going to be watching videos about Try RVs. It. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I will. <laughs> Are you going to drive? Because I want to sit in the front seat. Um, I think the consensus was you can sit in the front seat anyway. Supposing, um, Lisa says, okay. yeah, I'll I got that the front suspicious anyway. chow email. Yeah, so please, I if try. you get one of those, please mark it as not suspicious. Thank you so uh, much. Sandra says, to help with the QHO channel out, if you're watching, please like and share with your friends. Thank you. Okay. Um, bum, bum, bum. Question? Oh, we, well, no, we're, we're still trying uh, to catch up. Sorry. Rihanna is here. And Meg had one that was marked as suspicious. I had to mark it as not spam. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And lots of people marking them to say, thank you. Very good. Oh, Marisol, good. is it good for type 2 diabetics? Recommendations she will give. Yeah. In fact, we'll probably have a bunch of people in the comments. Yeah. Um, the, Marisol is on Facebook, so you guys might not have seen it. But yeah. um, a lot of people who are type 2 and type 1 diabetic. Use um, keto chow. Use keto chow to great effect. Mm-hmm. Um, exposing Darkness says, I think the Irish cream is better than Bailey's because I don't prefer that. Flavor. There we go. Evelyn's been making fudge every other week. Birthday cake was amazing. Delicious. Also made caramel macchiato with Lily's salted oh, caramel chips. Oh, I like that so much. The core on Valentine's Day was so nice. Yes. Bubble Steph wants to know, is Irish cream seasonal? It's not. It's a permanent flavor. We right just now. think about it during St. Patrick's mm -hmm. Day, so we want to celebrate. Uh, Adam wants to know, did anyone buy Keto Bricks last Sunday for their six-year anniversary? <sighs> Did you buy any? No, because I just bought some with you the, have a lot with already, the yeah. uh, launch of the relaunch of the Nootropic. I bought 12 ah. and accidentally bought 12 and sent to the wrong address, but their customer service fixed me up quick. Okay. 
I just turned down the volume a little bit because oh, we've, we're been, clipping. we've been clipping. You've been clipping? I, yes, because I project uh, my insecurity. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, Mike says I don't consider coffee flavor enough coffee for me to avoid. See, there you go. Um... Okay, Marius will restate. Had the pro the question had come through weird, so is oh, it good yeah, yeah, for yeah. type two diabetics and what recommendations you will get for a person with diabetes? Yeah, reducing carbohydrates for a person In with diabetes is always a good start. Is a good way. Whether that means you're using keto chow thing. or you're using ground beef. Yeah, pepperoni and cheese. Yeah. just cut out the cut out the bread, cut out the rice, cut out the sugar, cut mm -hmm. out the mm -hmm. cut out that sort of stuff. Mm hmm. Um, let's see, JJ says, I, I saw on Steve's channel, y'all gave him some starter packs to give away to keto newbies. Y'all are so awesome. Yeah, and then he, I, I commented, and he's like, congratulations on winning all the starters. I'm like, no, no I did not. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nancy wants to know, any plans to use allulose as a sweetener in your product? Oh, that's a great question. That is a great product. I can answer question. that for you. The reason why we haven't used one of those types of sweeteners is because it is takes up a lot of space. It's massive, as Chris would like to say. Yeah, it has so mass. It takes up a lot of space, and we've designed Keto Chow with a high-intensity sweetener, and not to not take up space, but that's how we already made yeah. it. And if it had the other sweetener, it would be too big to fit in the bag well. Yeah, so and a 21 it would cost mil bag a would lot have more. 10. So that's why we're not. But we do have Keto Chow Core... In the t in the three different flavors, that is unsweetened. If you'd like to try using allulose yep. in that instead, and I the recommendation by Carrie Brown, I think, was six teaspoons of allulose yes. to equal about and the I same sweetness. And I have done level. it, and it tastes amazing yeah. because I got a bunch of the unsweetened and mixed it up, and it's great. I should make that. I'm gonna make keto chow today. Okay. Marisol wants to know what part of Florida we're going to be in. We're going to be in Orlando. Yes. And we're going to uh, the parks. We're going parks. to have some fun. And we're going to Sarah's And we're tea going to party. Sarah's tea party. Yeah. Yay. So if you are near Orlando, come to the tea party. Oh, yeah. It is awesome. I can't remember if that's on lowcarbevents.com or I, not. I don't know. Do you want to look Low, it up? Uh, uh, Lowcarbevents.com. <laughs> Do, 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 I can There's find... So many. There it is, Sarah's Joyful Tea Party, oh, March yeah, 30th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Claremont. Oh, you know what? I think the time... The, I think the time changed. So I think I need to oh, give you a new one. this says 10.30. Yeah, but I think it's at like 1.30. Okay. Because it's Easter. It's right before Easter. Yeah. So they're having an Easter egg hunt for the little kids that live in the area. Okay. Let me find it. Interestingly enough, really if you're quick. unfamiliar with this website, it's lowcarbevents.com, and it's just a list of all of the different low-carb things that we've heard mm -hmm, of. Mm -hmm. um, I actually added today this VADC MD meetup, and I think there was another one that came through as well. And look, Keto San Antonio meetup, we're going to be there <gasps> April yes! 6th. That's my face. <laughs> Anyhow, um, let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Bonnie says, when making your keto chow chaffles, does your batter get very lumpy even before you add the cheese? Uh, it's a bit lumpy, but and we just don't worry about it. We're just kind of mixing it in. It's three eggs, one cup of shredded mozzarella, mm. and one scoop of keto chow or one packet of keto chow. Any flavor, literally any flavor. And you just kind of mix it a bit. And then we're putting about a tablespoon to a, a tablespoon and a half in one of the Dash Mini waffle makers. And it works just, just fantastic. Uh, Mimi says everyone had a late dinner, made the peppermint keto chow creamy. It was my last one. No. Last one. Bubble stuff says I use cream cheese in a blender and the batter is thick at times. Thinking you need to add a bit, a bit of water or some more eggs. Okay, Matt says, any suggestions on mixing? I currently mix with almond milk with avocado oil. Most of the products clump and stick to the size of the shaker mm. bottle. Any re recommendations to alleviate this issue? Um, I personally have found that if I'm doing any oil, and basically anything but heavy cream, yeah, I don't have very good success 
unless I use a blender, like an actual blender. And I will have the oil crazy. and crazy the hair. water going in the blender. And then I will add the, the packet of keto chow to it. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're using a shaker bottle, um, I'll do the fat and then the powder and then the water and then shake it up really good. Shake it up. Uh, but shake it I've up. never had success trying to mix keto chow with butter in a shaker bottle. It has never worked for me. I always get clumps, which is okay if I'm going to eat, drink it hot. I've had it work. Okay. But you have to like get that happy perfect. Yep. Warm enough for water. So. Yeah. Uh, Don is eating strawberry cream chapel. There you go. Oh, I was right. Nancy said it's 1.30 to 5.30 for the oh, tea party. Okay. So I need to, we, Nancy, you want to send us that new invite and we can post it. Yeah. Uh, Nancy says it was great to meet us at the uh, Metabolic Health oh, Summit. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dennis likes Dave Feldman's personal invitation to Las Vegas. I would have been willing to hitchhike down there, but have my wings clipped. Oh. And there's no high speed train to get you down there. I know, such a bummer. Mike says I use Kyo Chaffle Sweet and Savory that Chris posted. I never use cream cheese in mine. Yeah. Um, John oh, yeah, says Google's AI either. probably doesn't think keto is healthy enough. To... <laughs> it's I crazy know. in the head. There you right. go. Uh, Mike wants to know, are we driving from Salt Lake? No. Oh, I thought we're, you were saying you're driving from Salt Lake. We will be flying. I thought Matt was saying he was driving from Salt Lake to Vegas to see us. Alveolos chaffles. And John says, I just had two teaspoons of alveolos to my keto chow ice cream. Perfect. That's perfect. Do you know what's not? What do we think about using bacon grease with the baked potato? Um, yes, I do think that's a great idea. I've... I've tried bacon grease with chocolate, and I mm. did not Max like it. Max drank it, and he it thought was, it was amazing. Ugh. But he likes everything. But so. I know a lot of other people who have done it and do like mm -hmm. it, but with the savory flavors, coconut oil, butter. Um, actually, you can even use um, beef tallow or lard or... Yes. Well, that beef tallow yeah. is so good. We should make some with beef tallow. It's been a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dennis says, I remember four years ago this month was a low-carb Denver conference. I started mm -hmm. hitchhiking, and when I got to Green River, I turned right back home. <laughs> yeah, going through that stretch is going to be pretty yeah, crazy. Yeah, that's a nightmare. Okay, you got some questions? <gasps> You're tired. Well, okay, so I speaking of the tired. coffee question, okay. that was, Denise wanted to know if pecan sticky bun Oh, has coffee. coffee in it? No, it does not. No, it does not. Um, the only flavors that have actual coffee is the very, very tiny amount mm -hmm. that's in the Irish cream yep. and the caramel macchiato. Yep. And then there's quite a bit of coffee in the mocha. Um, there's yes. actually instant coffee powder. Um, no other flavors of Keto Chow have coffee. And the chocolate peanut butter and the... Chocolate, chocolate have quite a fit, bit of cocoa powder, which right. does have which does have caffeine in it caffeine. because it's built into the cocoa powder. And the chocolate mint has a little bit of cocoa powder as mm -hmm. well. So does um, salty cocoa loco. Yes, it has. I, I think it's less than a gram. So of tiny. Cocoa powder. Um, the chocolate toffee does not. That's correct. It does not. So there, there's that. Loretta says, I had my first chaffle today. Used pecan sticky bun mixed well with a whisk. There were detail. Uh, they, they were, were delish. delish. I only made five. I wanted to eat them all. I only ate two. Oh, I'm so proud of you. It's so hard when you're like, honk, 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 I want to eat that. Uh, Mike says, I didn't like the bacon grease in the soups. I think mm. he used too much. Maybe one tablespoon max. Okay, there Probably. we go. Probably. It usually has a pretty You know, I think flavor. it would be good with bacon grease and butter. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We still have those, whatever they're called, Turnips. Oh, yeah. In the fridge. Bubble Stuff says, I think kielbasa and potato or mushroom keto chow with turnips and the horseradish should, could Ooh. be a thing. Yes. Michelle's here late. My question is, I have a credit of $16. How do I apply it to an order? Ah, That's a great question. That is a great question. So the, the keto chow rewards, the credit, is actually a payment method. We used to use a rewards thing that it was a, a, a coupon code, which kind of works. But all you have to do is, you should have gotten an email with your code, or when you're logged into your account on the site, you can, yeah. it'll, it'll show you yeah, your you code as well. Yeah, you can just get well. your code from your account. You put that code into the... The gift card section. Yeah, the gift card slash um, coupon code box. You apply it, and it will 
apply it to your order. Yay! So there you go. That was a great question. Yep. And then if you still have a hard time, if you can't get it to work, or you're not sure it went, if it went through and you can't see it on the cart, mm -hmm. please feel free to reach out to customer service. There's a little um, bubble over here on the screen yeah. that has a little, do you have any questions? Right and you side. can just message them. If it's after hours, they'll get it right in the morning and they'll answer you back and make sure that you've got it figured out. And they can check your account to see if it's used or not. Bubble Stuff says, I like the Coco Loco and coffee. I think it's, uh, it's a thing to have salted coffee. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Adam says, biscuits and gravy keto chow. Not biscuits and gravy flavored keto chow, but we use oh. keto chow to make biscuits and We should and gravy. make that this week. The, there is a recipe on our website, actually. Yes. Let's try to find it. Here we go. I'm just going to say keto the chow Bulga. drop. Because the biscuits. recipe site has been funny lately. We've been fixing it, and then it's breaking again, so. And even though Google is dumb, here it is. Google's not dumb. <laughs> Google's great. It got us what we wanted. There it is. They're freaking amazing. We made these. This recipe is from a long time ago, and it just still keeps on giving. Oh, yeah. We usually always do biscuits and gravy when we go camping. Yeah. They Can work we go out. camping? No. Nope. <sighs> Never. Anyway. And then there's also a link to sausage gravy, which yes. you can make it using with uh, uh, chicken soup keto chow yeah. as one of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. For us, we usually just brown sausage and throw in heavy cream and yeah. But yeah, both of those are fantastic recipes um, for doing biscuits and gravy. Yes, to go camping. There you go. We'll put it in the in the thing. Mike says I am sick. I have a sixty dollar credit. I will spend it soon. Woohoo! Um, oh, Lisa had to use the chat bubble this morning. You have the best nice. customer service. Nice. They are. They're so amazing. Speaking of issues with the Keto Chow website. Oh. Over the weekend. Yeah. Okay. This is. I'm gonna try to not. This is so bad. Get into the nerdy, nerdy, nerdy nerd, computer nerd. talk. But the short version <laughs> is, the. The shopping cart that we use updated our secure certificate. It's what makes it so that you sending information to our server can't be intercepted by anybody. Which is important. It is very important. Well, something in the way that they updated it mm -hmm. worked with everything except for iPhones. And for whatever reason, iPhones with a specific Browser. like version... Um, it, it was having problems. And it's not like you could try a different browser because yeah. all browsers on iPhones are just Safari <laughs> with a different skin. Oh, man. Um, Apple does not allow you to have an actual different browser. Apple anyway, owns their Appleness. They sure do. So we, as far as we can tell, it's fixed. But you may... If you run into problems when you go to ketochow.xyz, it may be that you just need to clear your cookies or your cash. Um, and our, our team can actually help you with that. You might just have to call us on the telephone, though. You know what sounds good? What? Keto Chow chocolate toffee cookies. Okay. Or that fudge. Who was talking about fudge? I kind of want that know. fudge. I can make that fudge right after this. JJ says, I bought a big bag of chicken soup just for those recipes. Yes. So do I, we. And we love it. That's a standard in our camper. camper. We yep. always have the chicken soup in the, the trailer. Also, now that recipe, the recipe for the, the biscuits and gray, or the, the keto chow drop biscuits, mm -hmm. it calls for almond flour as one of the ingredients. Right. You can use um, ground up pork, pork rinds. Pork rinds. Mm -hmm. It... It doesn't fluff. Yeah, up. it's a little bit like greasier. It and it's more like a what? It's more like a. It looks like a cookie. But yeah, because they're kind of flat. Cookie. Yeah, they kind of flat. <laughs> they're kind of flat. It still but you, amazing. if you also make them smaller and kind of try to make them stand up, then it's a little bit better. You could make them also in... Uh, People think you left because you were mad at me, and you went to go get your amazing... I got my Christmas blanket. <laughs> your avocado Christmas blanket. <laughs> because anyway. I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> because it's winter here. And I okay. started shivering, and I'm like, why am I shivering? Oh, because it's cold in here. Yeah, sorry, you were saying. Anyway. 
I can't. I don't remember. remember. Barbara says I can use um, <laughs> other than Safari if I want, but I can't stand Google. All right. Mm. Well, and that's the thing. Chrome on iPhones is also Safari. Is Safari. Yeah, because they and a skin means that it looks like. It looks like Chrome. Chrome. It has but other it, stuff, but, but the actual... it is actually the functionality of it is that thing. Um, actually. So, yes. But yeah, the the under the hood stuff. Under the hood it's of the car. It's kind of like um, if I remember correctly, the <sighs> Hummer H2 is actually just a GMC like Yukon with a different thing on top of it. Anyway. Well, that happens. Uh, Jen says, I used the cream of mushroom with sour cream to make mm -hmm. Swedish meatballs. Mm -hmm. It didn't taste right. Interesting. Okay. JJ says, I don't have any cookies or cash. Oh, man. But <laughs> you have chicken soup, right? I don't know what treats cookies. you can make with that, though. Okay. Cindy wanted us to remind, wanted to remind us of something Dave said at the meetup. Okay. You want to read it? Yes. The rule is, anything I'm going to eat when I'm not hungry is going to be... Wait. Is not going to be... <laughs> anything... The rule is, anything I'm going to eat when I'm not hungry is not going to be in the house. Yep. He just flat out doesn't even allow it in the house. Mm -hmm. That's his criteria. If you can eat it when you're not hungry or you want to eat it, then that's the bad behavior that he I want to, to eat eliminate. bacon when I'm not hungry. Okay. <laughs> I, pr I pretty much want to eat everything when I'm not hungry, but I'm trying to be better. I have I've been awesome lately. Too. Nancy says that looks like a too Wait, crazy for a while. logo blanket. It does, yeah, huh? It, does. it totally does. It's from Costco. It's so cute. Oh, is that where it came from? Uh, yeah, one of our our warehouse manager bought one for herself, and she saw the avocados and bought it immediately for me. <laughs> Mike says on my Isn't iPhone I have Safari, Opera, Firefox, and Edge browsers installed. No, you don't. It's you all Safari with a skin. It's all Safari. The rendering engine. All of those browsers. He's gonna lack. be like, "What? You're wrong." Look it up. Apple doesn't allow actual browse different mm. rendering engines. They all just hook into the system renderer. And they just pretend yep. to be something. So else. if there's a problem with Safari, the mm -hmm. same mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. problems are going to um, occur on those other ones. But yep. to your point, that allows you to be logged into different things on those different browsers because. Yes. The because rendering engine, yeah, essentially you, above that sits all the other right fancy stuff. I'm it's like having, it's yeah. like different logins almost. Yeah, because you're just on the different browser fronts. <laughs> JJ says I actually just used Steve's birthday code to get some treats to add Yay. to my mix of ice cream. Nice. What a great idea! Okay, Jen wants to know. How is salty taste compared to Realite? Mm. I'm using the Realite now, and it does not taste like the ocean, <laughs> like the ocean <laughs> like element does to me. I honestly like all three of them. I would say uh, Realite is a little bit grainier. Okay, but what about the flavors? Uh, and texture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the flavors are a little bit more mild. Which one is mild? The R flavors. Okay, so Sal salty, salty is, is a mild. little bit milder. Um, also, it seems like it's a little bit sweeter to me, sweeter tasting to me okay. than Relight. But um, everybody's tastes are different, so you're just going to have to probably try it at some point and hopefully that you'll like it. But yeah, use your Relight because it's great too. We love Relight. Okay. Adam says, do you notice the difference in terms of joint pain when it comes to eating foods? Omega-6 dominant. No, we don't. I did notice that if... A, I did an experiment a couple of years ago where I was just I eating keto chow. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that I did was try different fats in it. Yes. And one of those fats was grapeseed oil, which is extremely high in omega-6. Yes. And it, it actually caused my plantar fasciitis to come back. But do you think that was from the omega-6 or because... Polyunsaturated fats are omega-6. Oh, there we go. Yep. Then there you go. I'm sorry. I was a big fat liar. I didn't, <laughs> no, okay. I didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> JJ says, I'm sure the EU will have Apple change that eventually. Yes. They yes, are actually they will. Working on it. The EU is giving Apple all sorts of consternation. Oh, poor, poor Apple. <laughs> anyway... Um, Let's see. Oh, here's another fun thing that we wanted to bring up. Okay. okay. Version 
2.8 and version 3.0 of Keto Chow. So we have version numbers in case you didn't know. In case you didn't know, I was such a nerd. The, there's a reason for the version numbers, though. They help you keep track yes. of what's going on. Now, you are actually very familiar with version numbers because cars have a model year. Yeah. And the model year of cars lets you figure out what features, what sort of stuff mm -hmm. are on each car, right? Right. Or travel trailers. Or travel trailers. <laughs> <laughs> and so if you have a version number in software or you have a model year in cars, it's, mm -hmm. it's easy to figure out, okay, this one has that feature. Now, with version 2.8, mm -hmm. we reduce the amount of acacia gum right. in each serving of keto chow. It used to be 5.6 grams per serving, and we reduced, we reduced it to one gram. So that's a reduction of 4.6 grams. Which is funny that one gram can spread out mm -hmm. that well. Yeah, and we, we include really the acacia is. gum for a couple things. Number one, it's a fiber, but mm -hmm. it's an interesting fiber that feeds your gut biome. Mm -hmm. And also it allows fat to mix with water. It's an emulsifier. And that's why you're able to use butter, melted mm -hmm. butter, in warm water keto chow, and it, and it works. Okay, so we, we kept the acacia gum because of that emulsification property. Right. But we found out we didn't need the full 5.6 grams. So we reduced it by 4.6, and that helps with the total carbs. So if you're a person who's tracking total carbs, suddenly version 2.8 compared to a previous version. Right. Hey, it's almost 5 grams fewer of total carbs. Um, well, that has an interesting side effect. Each packet of Keto Chow is 4.6 grams lighter. And when you have a 21 meal bag, right. all of a sudden it's 96.6 grams lighter than the same bag was in version 2.7. That's almost 100. It's almost 100 grams. It's 3.4 ounces difference. Yeah, that's and a lot. And so we, we have a couple of people who they have an old bag of Keto Chow. Oh. And they have a new bag of Keto and Chow. They're and they're like, like, what? I'm missing my, my yeah. thing. <gasps> so there's a term called oh, shrinkflation. Shrinkflation is so where food manufacturers are going through and they're not Changing, raising updating. their prices. Right. They are reducing the amount you get. Um, oh, one of the guys okay. at work was saying that Oreos are now 6% smaller than oh, they used I to Oh, I heard be. that. Yes. Yeah. So they were concerned that this was a case of shrinkflation, that we were reducing the amount of, that's almost two meals worth. Yeah. Well, and it's, it's simply because we reduced the amount of acacia gum, which had a cascading effect. It's, it's 96 grams lighter in a 21 meal bag. That's funny. So. And and we didn't really think about that and then the <laughs> but you didn't say it out loud. Yeah. Well, and it's just hard to communicate to people that hey, you, everybody was super excited that 2.8 mm -hmm. um, had lower carbs. Right. And 3.0 had and 3.0 is the new packaging. So the old packaging like this mm -hmm. versus the new packaging like let me ruin everybody's day. I have one packet That's of, mine. of peppermint here that I keep using um, as an example. That's the new packaging, and that's version 3. And actually, the only difference between version 2.8 and version 3 is the is packaging. The, is the packaging. It looks fancy. Um, okay, Jen says, I tried using butter and iced coffee. What a disaster that was. Yeah. Barbara says, I'm going to drop carbs more. Glad to hear it. I'm trying to drop. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Uh, Dennis is my sister You'll who followed so me better. three years ago. Three years was almost born in a classic Pontiac from before 1954. She was born at home instead. Well, there you wow, go. Wow, wow. Mike says, thank you for not shrinkflating, right? <laughs> That's a Elena. silly word. Uh, well, it's uh, it describes what's going on. Yep. Um, Elaine says, I still have a lot of the older versions to get through of me too. Mm-hmm. Um, Adam says, if the Oreos are shrinking, does that mean statins are as well? 
for the, any of you who don't know what Adam's referring to, <laughs> um, there's Norwitz. this guy named Nick Norwitz. He he and he's kind of a compatriot of Dave Feldman. Uh -huh. um, he's a believer in. He's a science guy. Yeah, he's a science guy. Anyway, a lot of people think guy. that reducing your total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol specifically mm -hmm. will make you healthier. Period. And Nick was trying to cause a a, a good discussion mm -hmm. to to kind of call people on that belief. It's like, do you really think that reducing LDL is healthy? At, at any means of reducing LDL is healthy? And so he did an experiment where he took the highest dose statin that he possibly could, mm -hmm. and it reduced his his. I think, I think it reduces LDL by, I think it's 17%. Don't quote me on that. It, it was... It was considerable. It was considerable. And then he went back to eating the normal way, and then he went, he started eating a sleeve of Oreos a day in addition to his regular ketogenic diet. Yeah. And it reduced his cholesterol by, it was like 75%. It was a lot. And so the discussion was, okay, you say that, reducing LDL is healthy. I reduced my LDL by eating a bunch of Oreos. He's not saying to eat Oreos. Right. It's supposed to elicit a discussion with people who think that LDL cholesterol causes disease. Right. And the people working on cholesterol, Dave Feldman's team, uh -huh. they're trying to figure out some research about that. Yeah. So we have our theories but having research would be really awesome. Speaking of which, we posted on Monday, which was... Yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> it's been a, a long day. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I think it's been three days we since then. We posted yesterday. We posted earlier this week, at the very beginning of this week, which was yesterday, uh, of Dave Feldman video. So if you guys haven't watched that yet, he ac we actually talk a little bit about the Nick Norwitz study. That's and correct. the numbers are correct there, in case yes. Chris is... Yeah, completely I, off his rocker. <laughs> <laughs> so Jennifer wants to know, uh, did the scoop size change with the new versions of Keto Chow 2.8? Some of them Some got of moved them, around yeah. a little bit. Most of them were close enough. Yep. Um, and the problem with the scoops are they're, they're a best effort anyway. Yeah. So um, if you really want it to be perfect, you weigh it out. Yeah. But I would just scoop it how you would normally scoop it weigh what you get in the scoop and see how close you are and then usually you can scoop it because on the back of the package in the in the nutrition facts mm -hmm. it'll tell you what a serving size is yeah see what your scooping methodology yields because i'm sure it's awesome yeah um exposing darkness says yeah for a long time there hasn't been a half gallon of ice cream right that's a good point Marie says i swear the company that bought the hostess brand did that as well at least 10 percent smaller mm. for the same price though price has since increased but since i don't eat them anyway i know <laughs> right it doesn't really matter marianne mm. still has peppermint chocolate malt and butterscotch and butter until they are re-released that's smart what makes you think they're gonna be re-released hey marianne how are you feeling i hope you're feeling better and mike points out that 94 cubic centimeters is the the size of scoop that we use most often yes, in keto chow. Yes, that is correct. Um, Bubble stuff says, I meant to ask, how often do the podcasts, is that a thing? So we're planning on doing a video similar to that. Yep. We were actually talking today about whether it's, whether we should really call it a we're podcast. Pl we're playing with things. Um, <laughs> we're going to be releasing one of those at noon Eastern time. Mm -hmm. At least for the next couple of weeks, uh, see how it goes. Um, we actually recorded one yesterday. Yesterday, during the longest day of the, the oh my gosh. week. Apparently, <laughs> yesterday and today we're just feel like about, five days. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about flavors. Yeah, it should oh, be good. And Dennis points out Nick Norwitz has a metabolic challenge akin to Crohn's disease, oh, and the Oreos caused him a lot of grief. I bet. Yeah, there, it, it was a sacrifice for him to yeah. do that experiment. But it's cool that he was able to get those results and just see like how mm -hmm. different it is. Of course, a lot of our employees were like, 
Oh, that means I can eat Oreo? No, that's <laughs> he, not why. He Wait, specifically man. says that's, that's not, not what, what it's about That's to not the point. <laughs> Marion's is still sick at home. I feel like I have oh. a bad cold, but I'm testing positive, but still testing positive. But I hope you're feeling any bit better. And Well, rest. C keep resting. And Marie says, vlog cast. Yeah, kind of, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Stina's here. Hi, Stina. Okay, Mwah. we had a, a, one other question. <laughs> um, Gail wanted to know, do you have to use warm water when you mix these? Does it do something to activate the keto chow? Okay, that is a good question. It does not do something to activate the keto chow. Yep. It, we, the reason why you use warm water is because when we mix it with butter, then it keeps the butter melted. Um, however, if you do mix it with cold water, uh, it's like it takes a minute for the vitamins to kind of like not, um, dissipate or whatever. And so that's why we always recommended putting it in the fridge and letting it think about what it's done for a minute. <laughs> Just because the flavor is better. And we really yeah. like it overnight better. So we like to make it at night and then drink it the next day. Nutritionally, you don't need to mm -hmm. wait and you don't need to use warm yeah. water. But warm water helps it taste better faster. Right. And honestly, just make it how you want it. It's your it's your life. It's your body. Do what you need to do. What you yep. want to do. That's right. So in a, in a word, mm -hmm. no. You don't have to. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Adam says, I wish I gave my mom back on low carb or... Yeah. Our carb um, backloading diet. We lost my twin sister April of last oh, year. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Mike says Chalk Zero was talking about a typo on their golden Oreo clones. It said chocolate on the package. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you have no idea. Packaging is hard. No idea oh. how many typos I have made. Let's see. In fact, I think, and because I used to be. I used to be in charge of the. You used to be in charge of everything design, in the whole entire company. Web design, customer service, advertising, video editing, like uh, the entire. Now we have fifty people for that. Not fifty, but it's, the entire. Okay, it's like forty-six. Entire creative area is people with people that who used to be doing my job. Because you used to ship too. That you used is to do, also I, true. I told you used to do everything, um, and then see. I used to do everything. Except for the stuff you were doing, some of the stuff. You were doing. Okay, I'm gonna search for keto. I mostly base have opinions, and I give those opinions, <laughs> and then you choose if you're gonna take them or not. Let's oh, see. don't show all that! Wow, that's a lot. That's uh, just googling. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can find. There it is. This is our most famous typo ever. This is my favorite typo of all time. Here, let's zoom in on this. Open image and new tab. Bum, what? Bum, Why bum. are you having such problems? There it is. Unflavored, unwheatened, <laughs> no protein. It's unwheatened, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not even referring to not having any wheat in it. That's referring to it doesn't have any sweetener in it. Yes, I, for, I mistyped. And, <laughs> in my defense, uh, Adobe Illustrator now has inline spell checking. Like it automatically that took sits them there a long time. under a line. Illustrator's stuff. been amazing for such a long time. Why didn't they take so long <sighs> to jump on that? So it's fine. I, I misspell stuff all the time. I don't fire people for making mistakes. Yeah, it's just a lesson. Because right? if I had fired people for making mistakes, I would have to fire myself. And me. And I made the most costly mistake of everyone. What was there was one recently that I did that was really bad. Anyway, um, yeah, I got the wrong uh, pallet racking. And that it wasn't your us. fault. Oh yeah, that was me. It was me. I made that decision. Oh, okay. I always thought it was me. Jennifer says I recently tried porking good butterscotch pork rinds. I want to crush them. On top, keto chow ice cream. Ooh! Nice. Mike says, I create um, engineering reports. My typos go on file for eternity at the uh, building department as public record. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Tony says, if we're supposed to stay away from processed food, how does keto chow differ from that? So it, it depends on what you, mm -hmm. honestly, it depends on what you mean by processed foods. Yes. Uh, because here's a list of processed foods. Eggs, cheese, 
beef. Because they all get processed. They all from get from the animal processed. to the store, right? Like, uh, we we joked around, and I kn I know that's not what you mean. Yes. But that is what that term means. And we we got back from the Redmond salt mine, and we had some some rocks, some Redmond so rocks, and mm -hmm. we were joking around that if you really we're serious about not having processed foods. You grind your own salt. Yeah, you take your little rocks and rub them together <laughs> rub them over together. top of your food. So. so that'd be good. But we know what you mean by processed. It means like the crackers that are fortified with all these things. Yeah. Like I to we totally get that. It's okay if you choose not to have keto chow. Mm -hmm. I, it's totally fine. We would actually prefer you eat a bunch of beef. Be eat real that food. That would be delicious. Yes, but there are keto circumstances where it's kind of nice just to have a shortcut, right? And mm -hmm. a lot of times when people are starting keto, it's nice to have training wheels. Because if you can make a shake and you like it, and, and it's you good don't, nutrition. And you don't have to try to figure out what your macros are because you just make this one shake for one meal or whatever, and you're just going to do it for two or three days or five days or a couple months or something like that. Like, it can help you get there because if you're going to go off the rails because you're too stressed to make three fancy pants meals that are different every day, then that can be a tool in your toolbox. So mm -hmm. we make keto chow to be a tool in your toolbox. It's has really good in ingredients and we really care about what the ingredients are the vitamins are the most bioavailable vitamins that we could get a hold of yeah. and we just pride ourselves on trying really hard to make sure that those are good so that it is the best experience it can be is it a shake yes but um, you decide what you put in your body and yeah I don't know if that's helpful or not. Yep, I, I think it was. Okay, Steena says I'm going to need make some cinnamon sugar rinds tomorrow. Oh, uh, that sounds good. I would use good. allulose and uh, cinnamon for that. It'd probably work really well. Yes. Uh, Adam says macadamia nuts are making me fluff. <laughs> oh, I know. I had to quit macadamia. I'm pretty much quit nuts. Although it was really, it's really helpful to have braces because I can't eat nuts. It's just too hard. It's hard, and then they get stuck in there, and it takes me 20 minutes, and by the time I'm done chewing one nut, I'm like, I never want to eat that again. So, yeah. Sarah Dearden is here. <gasps> Sarah, hi! Says my stepson is eating keto chow every day for breakfast. My stepson is uh -huh. eating keto chow every day for breakfast, and he's lost about 15 pounds in two weeks. Wow, that's awesome. That is, that is indeed awesome. I'm glad he likes it, and it's helping him. Um, Jen says, I can't eat pork rinds. The mouthfeel bothers me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I get that. Yeah. Yep. I can't eat pork rinds right now either because it's too hard for my teeth, my baby teeth. And Mike points out, Will Wheaton, yes. <laughs> Wheaton! Wheaton! <laughs> Mike's been drinking too salty each day. I actually I've have probably been, been having two every day too. Yeah, I have a, a water bottle mm -hmm. that I crumpled up and threw away that... Someone threw away my nice water bottle, mm -hmm. so I'm using the crumpled up yeah, one that I pulled like out of the garbage. Crazy. It's so janky. Um, <laughs> you know, you could get a nice one from downstairs. You're right. Um, <laughs> in the kitchen, in the cupboard. But anyway, it's it's 32 ounces, it's, mm -hmm. or it's one liter, rather. Yeah. So I've been putting two salties with water into that. Yeah. And that's what I just have available for me to drink when I, I get know, I love thirsty. It. I'm thirsty it right now just talking helps, about it. It helps me not have a, a, a cramp, cramp in my calf. Crampy cramp. All right. Well, I think it's time for us yeah, to go. Yeah, let's go to sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> you all have a fantastic day. We will actually, we won't see you next Monday. We will be posting a video next Monday. You'll see us next Monday, You'll hopefully. You'll see us. So please, will you also please give us feedback if you like that kind of format? If you have questions for us to answer, mm -hmm. um, we would love to look up and do some more research and find out answers for you. Indeed. Well, you all have a fantastic night.